What's up everyone? I hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day. And if not, I do hope that it gets better. I would like to say thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out today's video. It means a lot to me and I very much appreciate it. Now, if you're enjoying the content that you're seeing here and you wouldn't mind continuing to help support not only me, but the channel as well, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon so you can stay updated on all of my future content. Today will be a quick video as we're going to discuss what possible locations we could see appear in Marvel's Midnight Suns. So the current locations in game have been a decent point of discussion for the community in terms of how they look and feel. I can understand where they're coming from when they speak about this and after spending some hours on the game's predecessor which is XCOM, I can definitely see myself agreeing more and more with these statements that are popping up. Now for reference, XCOM's map size is much larger than Midnight Suns, where in that game your playable area could easily be anywhere from half a block to a full block, which is four streets for those who don't know, and it could contain various things like a medical building, a garage, an abandoned house, a tunnel, a set of train cars and more, all while you're trying to complete a specific objective, be it blowing up a truck, finding an enemy, defusing a bomb, etc, etc, and even adding in some vertical options like walkways and rooftops just to name some for example you were a commander leading a bunch of expendable soldiers against a dangerous enemy it was up to you to utilize any and everything you could which includes the environment to get you home safe now the reasoning behind the map differences is that you are now the most powerful person on the field you're a superhero you're not running away you're not chasing anyone the enemy is stuck with you on the field not the other way around you are the predator not the prey I will agree that having some kind of vocality in the arenas would definitely be nice, like fighting on a balcony or having one hero fighting on the streets and another on some train tracks above you, that would be dope, but the intent here is to get straight to the heavy hitting action and I can respect that. Now with that being said, in terms of locations that I and maybe some of you would like to see show up in game, I definitely got a couple here on the list. Now, some iconic locations like Avengers Tower and the Sanctum Sanctorum are already in-game next to some simple and lesser-known locations, but the Marvel Universe is quite a big place, so there definitely has to be some more in store that we haven't seen yet. Like my first choice on this list, the Helicarrier, Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D.'s base of operations. Now, this is a staple in the Marvel Universe and has a strong connection to not only the Avengers, but many many heroes and villains as well depending on which part of the history you look at seeing the suns take a trip up to the flying warship to lend a hand defending against an attack led by lilith would be pretty awesome and it would also be one hell of a view now next up we have kokoa and the x-mansion we have magic and wolverine running around with the sun so why not take a visit to their old homes and see what's going on now this one is a two-parter because it all depends on exactly what the lore is in Midnight Suns and what's established. So Kokoa is a sentient living island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This is now a nation, well the nation for all of the mutants of Earth. And non-mutants are not allowed on the island in any way possible unless given explicit permission. But certain allies like maybe the Avengers for example could be allowed on the island with the blessing of Wolverine and Magic as tagalongs in order to help with any possible threats. And the X Mansion, yeah, that really don't need to be explained. They just might need help in general because the mansion literally blows up like every other Wednesday. I know them insurance rates are probably high as hell. Golly. <laughs> Next location that we have here on the list would be Limbo, otherwise known as Otherworld. Magic is currently the ruler of Limbo, and we do know that in-game she's pretty much our fast travel guide. When moving from place to place in a hurry, we'll actually walk through Limbo itself to get to our next destination. It would make sense if Lilith was able to tear her way into Limbo, which is filled with various kinds of dangerous demons and more, and we would need magic to allow us to take the fight to her in that place because no one knows Limbo better than she does. Next up is the Wrath and the Vault, another two-parter, two of the most dangerous prisons in the Marvel Universe. Now I feel like this story, for this story, right, this makes sense. 
The team of Fallen that Lilith is putting together is consisting of heroes, anti-heroes, and villains alike. We know that there are more iconic characters in game that we're going to run into that are not playable. What's to say she doesn't end up picking up the smell of some insanely strong powerhouses and lock up and decides to go and bust them out for her own nefarious intentions like how she just so happened to randomly come across both Venom and Sabretooth in the most weirdest of places, right? Now, the last location that we have here on the list would be Kamartage. Kamartage is the place where Doctor Strange learned how to utilize his magic, and he's now in the process of training the Scarlet Witch in order to help her better control her powers ever since Agatha Harkness passed away. Now, out of all of the locations that we have currently seen in game, a majority of them seem to be a very demonic, hellscape, deserty kind of place, or just like a simple, normal place to be, like Avengers Tower again the desert abandoned warehouse a hydra base etc etc i for one would definitely prefer to see more magical locations making appearance down the line it doesn't have to necessarily be kamartage but i would rather the sanctum sanctorum not be our only major magical location to fight in so with all of that being said that's going to go ahead and mark the end of our video today i hope that you guys have had a great time here let me know down in the comments below how you felt and what locations that you would like to see show up in marvel's midnight suns at some point be it a be this in the base game or it could show up as a location for dlc and again if you've enjoyed the video please remember to like share and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so that you'll never miss out on any of my future midnight suns related content and i will catch y'all in the moon like peace time to a big trying to relax pull it to the club with the bottles on ice be the back end by the end of the night i'm an artist of social light trying to do a girl trying to relax pull it to the club with the bottles on ice be the back end by the end of the night i'm an artist of social light